I was very conscious, you know, uh, doing Star Trek, that the it really should be embodied and viewed through a, a big screen experience. So it's something you should wait in line, you should be with a big crowd. I think it's the perfect format for it. I mean, it's outer space, for God's sake, so to see it that big, give the, the grandiosity of that, the scale that IMAX can afford it is pretty cool. The scope and scale of a movie like this gets captured in IMAX like it doesn't get captured in regular screens. I think that it's more vivid, it's more <clears throat> visceral. The IMAX experience is, is, is a spectacular one, and when you see that kind of the mayhem that Justin orchestrates in this movie between back to lovely character stuff, it's great to see on such a massive format because you feel like you're in it. You need nothing you can replicate at home. It's the thing that makes you want to get out and go to the cinema. Abandon ship! This is the kind of uh, movie that IMAX is ideal for. I know why you're here. Why we are all here. When we're deconstructing the Enterprise, thousands of people have worked really hard to kind of put it all together, all that texture and that tactile nature. And that's something that I think sometimes when you watch it on TV or smaller formats, you just kind of see, oh, a ship getting destroyed. But here, you're not only going to see it, you're going to feel it. From the smoke, the atmosphere, interaction, everything that's going to be there for, for the audience. And I think IMAX drives that home when you see a movie in that huge format. It, uh, we're really excited about the premiere in San Diego at Comic-Con, which is going to be a huge IMAX outdoor screening, um, which is going to be really pretty awesome with a live orchestra. I like that idea of being on a ride. It's a sensory overload. And I think that's an experience that's also great to share with other people as well. I personally love going to IMAX. A lot of times when you think of IMAX, people think, oh, it's just big screen. But it's not, it's, and it's not just big sound, it's very textured sound. That's what brings the tone and the sensibility of the film. We didn't take anything for granted. Everything down to the last little element has been thought through, and so when you go into an IMAX theater, you're really gonna help you feel, not just to see and hear, but feel the movie. Hold on to something! Hi, here's an interesting movie fact for you. Each frame of the CGI scenes in Jane Cameron's Avatar, 1 24th of a second, took an average of 47 hours to render. Can you believe it? For this and more movie facts, click on more videos. But if you want something else, click on the playlist.